Hi, my name's Rachel, and I've been a part of the Image for six months. I didn't know too much about Christ or God, for that matter, until I moved to Jacksonville five and a half years ago. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on, like when I was seven years old, um, my babysitter actually raped me. And um, after that, it was, it was really hard to, to cope with a lot of things. But um, with my living situation, it was always different. We moved from house to house. We got evicted all the time. So I think I never really actually got to deal with one thing. It was one thing after another for many, many years. When I first actually really prayed and meant it was I was 16 years old and um, I was asleep. It was me and my mom, my brother's ex-girlfriend, and my sister in the house. And um, I was awoken by uh, somebody hitting my leg. I pulled the blankets from over my head, but I still couldn't see. And then I remembered it was because I had the eye covering. So when I pulled it from my face, there was a pistol in my face. And I just, I looked and then he started cussing at me. They had my mom and my brother's ex-girlfriend in the living room. There was three men with masks over their faces. They stripped us of our clothes, started beating us. You know, they tied me and my sister up together on the floor and uh, just did some really, terrible things for about an hour and 45 minutes. During that time, um, one of them said that my mom had seen their face. So they took my mom and my, ex, my brother's ex-girlfriend into the kitchen and put their heads in the sink. I could see from the floor a little bit of what was going on in the kitchen. So they turned on the sink, the water, and they started to count down. And I, I was pleading to the guy at the door, like, don't let them kill my mom. You know, we won't tell anybody. I promise we will not tell anybody. I didn't know what to do. They were counting down, so I just put my head into the carpet and I started to pray, but I didn't start to pray, I guess, the right prayer because I started to pray. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And as soon as I started praying that, I kind of like got sidetracked. I was like, Rachel, that's not the right prayer. You know, he's not going to hear you, you know, so then I got frustrated with myself and I was just like, Lord, please, whatever you want me to do, like, just don't let them kill my mom, you know? And as soon as I said that, the water stopped and they brought them back in the living room. They didn't leave, but they, you know, they continued to beat us or whatever that they were doing, but they finally took off by the grace of God and we got out of there. But that was the first time that I'd actually encountered God. At least uh, I felt it. I found out about Image through Carla. Um, actually, I was on Facebook and she hashtagged Image Church. So I just hit her up and I was like, well, what's this Image Church about, you know? And she told me um, about the church and how awesome it was and she thinks I should go. So um, I asked her first, if I go, can I go with you? <laughs> you know, so I didn't want to go by myself. And. Um, Come Sunday, I called her and she wasn't answering the phone. And uh, I said, okay, well, I'm just gonna go anyways. So I pulled up and she still wasn't answering the phone. This was an hour later. I just felt moved to walk in, but I just waited until some other people showed up and kind of crept in with them. <laughs> and that's how it was. Up until six months ago, I'd been trying to stop having premarital sex, stop smoking cigarettes, stop cussing, stop drinking you know, doing everything the Bible says not to do, I try to do my best to stop, you know, just because I didn't feel like I was gonna be accepted by God or if I died the next day, I was gonna go to hell. And um, as soon as I started going to Image, it was like, God just showed me, no, oh, there's, there's a better way, you know, you don't have to do anything because I've already did it. He's taking all these desires away and I don't have to do anything. I didn't have to do anything when for five years I thought I did, you know? And I, I searched for him over and over, different churches, different people, but I just wasn't, I wasn't being, it was, it, nothing was being fulfilled, you know? And then he brought me to Image and put me in the midst of all these wonderful people and they're all different. You know, and he's just showing me different things about myself, different things about other people, and it's just amazing. My life has completely changed.